Welcome. In front of me is an iPhone 6s, and today I'll show you how to jailbreak the device. Now, the one that I have right now is on the iOS 14, so uh, this process will differ a tiny bit uh, to people that, for instance, will have a little bit lower version of their iOS. And uh, to get started, there is a couple things that we will need. Number one is a USB, as I have one right over here. So. Uh, any kind of USB will do. It just needs to have uh, about, for instance, one gigabyte. So get the smallest one um, because you will need to format it. So anything that is on it will need to be removed. So just a heads up. Then obviously a cable. I have one right here plugged into the computer. And then we'll also need a software. Uh, now we can download it simply from the website. So the website is called u3.com or Actually, I think it's 3U. There we go. Yep, so there it is. And simply download their software. Um, save it. As you can see, I already have it multiple times, so I'm just going to cancel it for now. And once you download it, go to the installation. That's about it. From there, we'll need to open it up. Uh, so 3U. Uh, there we go, 3U tools. Then you open it up. So once you open it up, uh, plug in the USB. Now for me, I believe it's gonna give me a bunch of errors. Uh, let's see if it even works. Oh, no, it works here. So, um, so right now it's fine as you can see. And uh, now I will mention this once we format it uh, and actually install uh, the uh, program on the USB, uh, it will not show up in here anymore. And to fix that later on, uh, simply you will need to go into your uh, start, click on, right click on it, and then go disk manager, and in disk manager find it. So, give it a second, it's still loading. There we go. So from here, uh, look for your removable uh, drive, which for me is this one right here. And you'll see that this partition right here, the, well, basically the entire uh, drive, will be kind of like grayed out simply right click on it and uh, you will need to make it i believe it's something like mount a new partition or something like that it's right at the top so you basically go through that and basically click next next and apply it and it will then format it and make it back into a, a normal usb drive as it is visible right now and this is uh, that you, something that you will do after and the jailbreak after you're done with the usb just so we can use it again so Again, going back to the program itself, um, simply go to the flash and JB or jailbreak, then select jailbreak, tap on uh, make chakran jailbreak USB flash drive, select your USB, as for me is this one right over here, the only one that is visible, and then select start making. Now there's a chance that it's going to fail at the first try, and there it is, so confirm it, do it again, and it will go just fine now. Okay, so as you can see now it's done and if we go back to our yep, to our Explorer you can see that the uh, drive is gone even though I haven't unplugged it yet. So the process worked. Um, so we can close this and all this and what you want to do now is gain access to your BIOS. So simply shut off your device or restart it. I think restarting will be easier and start pressing whatever it will tell you uh, to press. Once it boots up, you'll see, I'll basically point out when that happens. So give it a second and takes a little bit to restart. This PC is a little bit slow. So right now it should pop up. There we go. So for me, it's press uh, F2, I believe. Uh, but you can see there were like at the bottom, you would have uh, what F function key you would have to press to gain access to it. Now if you didn't get it uh, quite quickly enough you can simply restart the device and look for it again. Uh, but general, generally it's either F2, F12 or F9 I think, something like that. So you can try to press multiple until you gain access to BIOS. And from here, uh, at least this is for my BIOS which is the Gigabyte one as you can well, 
well not see it's kind of cut out but this is the gigabyte one so on the gigabyte one you want to go to the bios uh, features uh, tab as you can see right over here and in here you will have the boot one and boot two now make sure that boot one is um, your USB so if you see oops if you click enter on it you can see that the first one it is right over here so generic SD MMC so this is our uh, this is the drive and like USB ports uh, so make sure that this is selected and then on the second one uh, it's gonna be your Windows then so basically if there is some bootable drive it will automatically boot into that drive and if there is none it's gonna then choose the second option which is our windows so in this case once we restart the device it will automatically boot into that drive uh, this is like i said this is for the gigabyte uh, option some other ones when you try to boot it i think if you press like f11 or 12 it will pop up a menu with basically every drive uh, that you can boot to and by default uh, the first one will be your windows but uh, if you go below you should see something like, like EU, uh, UEFI uh, USB um, and the name of the drive so you can simply select it and press enter uh, and it will then boot it into it so it's fairly dependent on what uh, BIOS you have like I said this is for me it's for the gigabyte ones so now I'm just gonna go to save and exit and select save and exit yes and now let's boot into the bypass drive as you can see I wasn't really pressing anything it's automatically booting into it and there we go we're now in it so from here let's just get the cable and plug it in I'm gonna gonna drop the phone right here so you can see it still but so it doesn't actually block anything so in here as you can see there is no mouse uh, so you will have to use arrow keys to navigate and enter to confirm whatever you select and number one as you can see start is not accessible just skips it so to combat this because this is iOS 14 uh, actually a little bit above 14 as you can see this goes up to only 14.0 we have 14.01 that's at least what it's tested for uh, so we need to go into the options go up select allow uh, untested ios ipad and tv os's enter to confirm that then up to go and select back and enter to go back and now start is visible and actually clickable so from here simply click on start uh, this device is running an OS version which was not confirmed to work with this just select OK we know that it works at least I know I already have done it and now it's gonna boot the device into recovery mode as you can see it just did you can see the computer and and the cable and from here we'll have to go into the uh, DFU mode now to do this we're gonna hold the side button and the the home button so basically power key and uh, home key and we're gonna hold them for four seconds as you can see right over here in this blue text so press and hold the side and the home button together for seconds release the side button uh, but keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds so we can press start and immediately once we do we can then hold it so let me quickly just one two three four and keep holding home and there we go so you can see the countdown uh, ended a little bit abruptly that means that it went into it now if you fail it because for instance you might be holding the power key for a little bit too long uh, then the software right here will let you know that it didn't work and you can start over again and retry it till you get it uh, but the timing on on the software that it actually tells you to hold each button for is fairly accurate and as you can see uh, it's done here and also done on the computer so click enter and we're finished with the uh, with the jailbreak and like i said once you're done with it make sure you format your uh, your drive uh, otherwise it will just not show up as a usable flash drive anymore so once you format it through the disk uh, manager you can then use it again but from here we can just unplug it 
and we're basically done with the jailbreak. And simply restart your computer to go back to actual Windows. There we go. So that is how you would how you jailbreak your iPhone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.